So hi, this is Dana Probert. Just something really quick. Um, so I have a polyline that I've laid out uh, maybe to use for some conceptual sanitary sewer or water main. And though I'm not ready to graphically show a bend, I do need to make sure that I've allowed uh, the proper angle before I continue working down the line. Um, or maybe you've laid out a whole, a whole bunch of uh, conceptual sewer all the way down the road and you need to go ahead and check to make sure that you'll meet industry convention for bends. So I have a little dynamic block that I mentioned in the blog post and you can actually download the drawing from AU Online. So the link is embedded into the blog post. Uh, check out in the sidebar here on YouTube to get that information. So I just lined up this little dynamic block with my last um, pipe and I could rotate it if it was coming in at a different angle. Now the, the dynamic block is set up so that each of these angle measurements has a little grip and I can extend it to give me an idea of where my outgoing pipe right here needs to fall in order to meet you know, the angle requirements of a 45 degree bend, of a 22 and a half degree bend, um, you know, 11 and a quarter degree bend. And then I can either draw in my, draw in my, a new poly line or new alignment leg and um, just grip edit it to match, match my design intent. So instead of coming in and having this really sloppy pipe, um, you know, conceptual pipe run that is going to require a lot of work down the line, I can use these AutoCAD tools to to help me figure out what I'm doing um, and and get a better better feel for what's realistic. Um, so when I turn it into a real pipe network, instead of just working with alignments and polylines, I'll be able to see that in action. So give it a try.